Look at these three beautiful, boneless, dry aged ribeye steaks. These are about to be so good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you're gonna put a little olive oil on each side, a little salt, pepper, garlic powder on each side. Let it sit for like 30 minutes. Then we're gonna reverse sear. You guys know the vibes. Let the internal temp heat up to like 120 degrees. Then we got the cast iron pan right there. Put it in the cast iron pan, sizzle it up. All right, so first you put a little olive oil on each side. That was too much. Just coat it. All right, next, we got the salt. Don't be afraid to under season your steaks. A lot of people think it's gonna look like a lot. It, it, it is gonna look like a lot, but just sprinkle that on. Make sure it's nice and in there, okay? Next, we got the pepper. Same thing. Use it a lot. Don't be afraid to over season. Well, don't over season, but I'm saying it's gonna look like a lot, but it's not a lot. And next, we got the garlic powder, okay? Now, let this sit, absorb a little, and then we'll do the other side. You guys know, with the steaks, you gotta have sides. We're making french fries from scratch. Get a peeler, wash your potatoes. Make sure you don't cut yourself, and just start peeling this away. Then you cut these up into little french fries, and we'll fry them up. All right, so now we peeled all the potatoes. Now, crucial, you wanna slice them in the exact same size, so they cook the same size in the pan. That. Mm -hmm. And like that. Now, if we hold it like this and go like that. Okay, so now this has been sitting for probably about 10 minutes, ideally longer to have all the stuff absorbed, but I'm kind of in a time crunch. So now we're gonna flip it, flip each one, and do the same thing on each side. Important when you're cooking is to take care of your steak, tenderize it, love it, hold it, make it feel like it's happy. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, we sliced them all up. We try to keep them as evenly sized as possible. Now you gotta let them sit in cold water for 30 minutes. It'll help them get crispier. At least I think that's why. Or, actually, I don't know. But that's what you're supposed to do. All right, so everything is coming together nicely. We got three steaks. Reverse sear method, the idea is you put it in the oven at a low temperature, around 275 for like 30 to 40 minutes. It's gonna raise the internal temperature slowly. Uh, makes the steak more tender. Um, so once these bad boys get to around 120 degrees, we want to be rare, we'll take them out and then we'll put them in the cast iron. So let's put them in. It's gonna take like uh, around 30, 40 minutes. We'll use our thermometer and periodically check when it's gonna be up. All right, these have been sitting for about 30 minutes, as I said. Uh, they'll make more crisp when we fry. Now we're gonna strain them and then start frying. All right, so now we gotta dry these off nice and good, and then we'll get them frying. So for the fries, you gotta, we're gonna fry them twice, just like the restaurants. First time you want your oil at about 275 degrees, um, put them in for five minutes, and then we'll take them out. Then we'll put them back in the oil after that at around 350 degrees, double fry, we'll get it nice and crispy. Be really careful when you're doing this, it's gonna splatter. Oh my god. I also don't wanna to put too many in at once. You're gonna let it cook for like five or six minutes before you take it out. You're gonna to have to do multiple batches here. That's probably all I'm gonna put in for now. All right, so we took one steak out of the oven. This one was a bit thinner. That temperature got to 120. You see it doesn't look as good right now, but once we sear it, it's gonna look crazy. You see them, this is the first fry of these. These just got taken out. They honestly don't look that good, but I hope it looks better after the second fry. Okay, we're about to put these in for the second time. Oil's at 375. This is gonna make these really crispy, really fast. It's gonna bubble like crazy. You guys can see it's ferociously, that's also gonna stick together if I don't move it apart really quick. We're vibing, we're vibing, we're vibing. But yeah, this will crisp up. All right, so it's been in here for a few minutes now. We threw in some rosemary for flavor. Uh, gonna let these go until they're golden brown, and then we'll take them out. All right, these bad boys are looking really good. Nice and crispy. We're gonna take them out. All right, so we're about to sear this. We put a little vegetable oil in uh, just to help with the sear. And yeah, just listen for the sound. Okay, that's beautiful. Let that sit. We'll do like two minutes, and then we'll flip it. We'll get the sides as well. 
And then we'll get the butter and the rosemary in there and start basting it. Okay, now we're about to flip this bad boy. Let's see how it looks. Hopefully a nice sear on the outside. Look at that, that is actually so beautiful, chat. That is freaking beautiful. The steak, the steak is gonna be delicious. All right, now let's see how the pack looks. Another beautiful sear. We also do wanna make sure that we get the sides of the steak though. So we're gonna put it on the sides to make sure those get a nice sear. All right, now we're gonna throw the garlic in about three tablespoons. I mean the butter. Let that melt. Throw in some garlic, three cloves, and the rosemary to add the flavor. And then, basically, you just wanna start basting it. Cooking the top of the steak with the butter. All right, now we're gonna plate this bad boy. Get a little of that butter sauce. The rosemary in there. Now we're gonna put a little fries on there. All right, so we're finally done. We got the fries, we got the steak. We're about to cut it open and do a taste test. Nice pink inside, you know? It might be a little overcooked actually, but let's taste. So juicy. The marbling of the steak, really good. Cooked pretty perfectly. Taste the butter. Taste the rosemary. Magic.